Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods and we are doing the weekly reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from the 21st till the 27th of February. Please remember these are general reading, times fluid and energies can be reversed. So please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive if you're here for the first time. Welcome aboard, welcome to my channel and if you've been kind enough to come back, thank you so very much and welcome back Aries, I feel resistance in the cards, there's something that is holding you back, I don't know what that is, we will figure it out, challenge that might be presented to us this week is here, the advice from the universe and the outcome wow look at that two of cups and nine of cups as the outcome wow that is amazing outcome integration of energies and wish fulfillment the wheel time's moving time is moving however for this wheel to complete you need to put that last piece of the puzzle in place for this circle to complete and for that we need this clarity and that balance in life hmm already quite a bit here let's see what's the challenge that we are facing nine of wands oh this seems to be like you are in some kind of defensive position or you have been put in a place where you have to hold your ground but you feel very wounded emotionally this is a wounded warrior energy that you are carrying and you don't you it's not a happy place to be let's put it that way okay it's not really a happy place to be for you and you feel being unfairly treated but is it all them or is it also you is what we need to look into eight of swords in the advice are you truly stuck or is it just in your head or i hear is it some kind of a game for you or someone else who knows what, whose energy is this let's clarify very very intriguing energies here are you truly stuck is this really a game is this completely their fault that you feel this way, the way you are feeling right now? Or do you have also something that you have contributed to the situation that you are not willing to be held accountable for? Let's clarify. Nine of Wands. What do we have? We have a jumper. Five of Wands with the Nine of Wands. There is clearly a conflict that is leading you hurt. That has led you feeling hurt. Well, why is this feeling of hurt there, Spirit, with this conflict? Three of Pentacles. See, there are other people involved in here. I'm telling you, there are other energies involved. There is conflict. You feel wounded and hurt. The advice here is to go within and look as to is it truly all their fault? Is it really that unfair as to how things are going? Seven of swords. Is it truly all their fault? Is it truly just them or is it you too? Four of cups right there. Yeah, we are very much focused on what they did to us than what we did and we need to look into a different way look so many so many i knew it ace of pentacles and ace of wands there is something new that needs to come out of it clearly we can see that something fiery something stable no something that is making you feel like hurt right here but we need to truly look into this five of pentacles and seven of swords is giving me that feeling that nine of swords look and the star well healing is coming your way okay enlightenment or some sort of um self-realization is what you are asked to do this feeling stuck or wherever you are in your this feels more like a relationship it could be at different levels but this feels more like a personal relationship 
than professional. No? Five of Pentacles, seven of swords and nine of swords. Whatever that is being the conflict with the other energies involved, is it truly their fault? All of it. It seems like we are not being clear about it and we are not being fair and not having a balanced approach towards it. We are just in that gloomy, confused mode. Five of Swords here again. This conflict needs to be looked into fairly. Are you looking into that fairly is what you need to ask yourself. And when you do, clearly you want to move away from that and we should be moving away because clearly there is something bright coming your way. There is something which has a lot of potential. There is some kind of angelic intervention that is happening here. You are put in this situation for a reason. You are put in this situation to look through a third person's perspective as to what has been your role so far in this situation for it to reach the level that it has reached, where it has reached. And if you do that, if you do have that kind of point of view, we are heading towards energy integration and wish fulfillment. Time's going to change. That's clear. There, this seems to be like that teething phase in a relationship that goes on or after the honeymoon period when the routine sets in. There are lots of times when you feel treated unfairly or where's the spark gone or things are not the same. Well, it's just that shift happening from, you know, the rabbit phase to the settling down phase. This integration, the process in itself is not always very rainbow and roses kinds, you know. Two of cups and nine of cups as the outcome spirit. Why do we have for my Aries for this week? Two of cups and nine of cups anything else that needs to come out yep see yeah look at this nine of cups in the reverse the emperor right here we are looking long term aren't we if we are thinking from the dating phase to a long-term commitment this is what is going on right now and if we are able to look at it from a fair, just perspective, we are really having our energy being truly integrated at a much deeper level. The connection is going to get deeper. Look, we have the sun. There is a different level of joy that comes along when you have that sense of stability in life, when you have that sense of commitment in life. It is not going to be the way you have thought of or picturize that you know picture perfect postcard frame that you have thought of uh uh that is that sense of reality coming in biting you in the ass kind of a thing you know reality isn't as rosy but reality if you feel that connection with someone is absolutely fantastic we are thinking about long term aren't we we need to keep the fire going yes but we also need to Look at things with some compassion here, not just fire all the time, you know. We need to go within and talk about this. Have, a, have an inner dialogue that, am I being fair? Page of Wands, we are moving ahead in a direction, in a fresh direction in the same relationship. Two of Swords, well, there is no scope for this confusion anymore because we are integrating we are coming together we are finding that warmth in each other's reality it is not going to be a two hours date where everybody is putting the best foot forward where everybody is putting the best dress it is going to be the pajamas and the t-shirt and getting up in the morning and fighting for who's going to be in the bathroom first all of that 
that is what we are talking about that is where this is heading let's get you an oracle message to wrap up the reading aries one more i hear so there we are final guidance message for my aries whoa okay right here gratitude be grateful for all you have exactly trust me not many people have this what would be coming your way if you sought what's going on people truly crave for this kind of connections people would give one of their kidneys to get here in a relationship people truly miss connection these days true deep connections and it's not always coming from you know going to movies and having picnics no it's it comes from when you have a disagreement you look through things you reconcile and after that you work on things you tune things it all goes all the time and that is where the true connection lies the commitment of sticking together even when the going gets tough gratitude let's read this for you gratitude helps you live in peace love and joy being grateful for the abundance you have received is the best insurance that more good things will come to you grateful people are happier less stressed and are more satisfied with their lives learn to create abundance in all areas of your life first you have to ask what is it that you would like to receive or change in your life believe it is possible then let it happen be ready to receive give thanks to god the angels and the universe gratitude is a powerful process for shifting your energies and bringing more of what you want in your life the affirmation here is i am grateful for life's gifts of peace love and joy and on that very grateful note aries i'm going to wrap up this reading thank you so very much for joining me namaste from the land of gods